It's truly remarkable that Revit has a plethora of hacks and tips, particularly when it comes to walls, which is one of the most versatile and widely used tools. Let's start with creating a simple default wall. From architecture tab, click on this wall and in the properties section, you can select between one of these default walls that we have in here. Let's go with this one. Then you need to set the height. You can either use a value in this part or you can simply set it from level one to the second level. And now I'm going to simply create my wall in here. Okay. Let's go to 3D view to see how it looks. Now, if I select the wall and go to edit type in here, if you want to see the layers of this wall, you can click on this preview. And if you want to like see all of the details about these parts, you need to go to this edit section. In here, you can see all of the details related to this part. You can see the thickness, the materials and their function of these different layers. Also, we have lots of different tools in this part, which are really helpful for controlling these layers, managing them or controlling the wall overall. Obviously, they are inactive in this part. So if you want to active and use them, you need to switch this view from floor plan to this section. And then in this part, in this preview, you can either zoom in or you can change this sample height. So let's put it on one meter so we can control all of the parts and see all the details better. You probably know about these strips, reveals, merge region, split region, and the sign layers. But if you don't, I'm going to put videos related to these parts in the card section. So make sure to check them if you want to learn more about these parts. The hack that we are going to learn in this video is about like controlling these layers moving them next to each other and modifying them better so for that you need to first make sure it is selected should it should be on blue highlight as you can see in here if i select another layer that layer is going to be highlighted in blue so make sure the layer you want is selected and then click on this modify the blue highlight will go away but these edges these lines will be on blue highlight if i hover my mouse over them so if you select this one you can control the thickness for example let's put it on eight centimeter thickness of the layer changed in here and also in this part and if i select the other line it will give me a lock which i can unlock it and move this layer in here let's see how it works so you can see that we have another line in this part and if I select this wall, it will show me two handles which I can use for modifying and changing this layer. I'm going to move this part down so you can see the difference between them. So this is the layer that we wanted to modify and this is the rest of the wall. So it is still attached and we can like move it again we can put it wherever we want we can use it for showing the other layers in this wall if you can't see those handles it is either because your wall has like a value in this unconnected height or probably your wall is attached to a floor above it or to a roof so if i go to first level and create a floor in here Let's put it on the second level and then if I attach this wall to this floor, you can see that we don't have those handles in this part and we can't control this layer. So you need to keep this in mind. There's also another way for controlling these layers and using them for presentation and things like this. Let's go to first level and in here I'm going to create another wall with another type let's go with this one for example i'm going to create a very simple wall in here select it and go to 3d view so this is our wall and if you want to like see all of those layers you need to select it and from this part we have this create parts if you click on it all of the layers will be shown in this part let me also turn off this thin line so you can see all the different layers if you want to also move them 
next to each other you need to select one of the layers and check this show shape handle in the properties section this one you need to check it and then it will give you like different handles in different parts you can move it wherever you want i'm going to move it a little bit down to here and also i'm going to move it to this part for the next layer you need to again select it and check this show shape handle and then you can move it wherever you want i'm going to put it in here and to this part and exactly like this repeat it for all the layers and put them next to each other wherever you want You can use this tool if you want to like show all of the details about different layers maybe their thicknesses their materials or if they have any special details if you want to do that if you want to add text annotation tags lines arrows you need to first make sure that this view is locked so for that you need to click on this part save orientation and lock view give it a name let's go with simply this now we cannot rotate or move but we can zoom in and zoom out so now if you go to annotate tab you can see that you can add text you can add tags if you go to architecture tab you can use these model lines and you can create details and like text if you want it also works on floors so if we go to first level and let's just simply create a very simple floor with some layers in here hit finish and let's go to the 3d view now you can see that we have like fine detail and if i select it click on this create parts we can see all of these details i'm going to select it again and check these show shape handles and now we can move it like this we can do it for all of these layers and show all of the layers separately we can add details to these floors and also tags annotation dimensions even dimensions you can absolutely add dimensions for these type of course if you lock the view one of the best places that you can use this type of presentation for showing all of the details for each layer is when you create legends for walls or floors so if you don't know how you can create legends and how you can create legend components make sure to watch this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video